Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and run Diablo Immortal on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So today we're running the Windows version of the game through Parallels. So this is the virtual machine software that's going to be running Windows 11 ARM. And this particular game does work pretty well through virtualization. It's not necessarily better than the play cover tutorial that I've done previously, which I'll leave a link to in the description. However, it does have full keyboard and mouse support. And I'm pretty sure that this is not going to get you banned as it doesn't require any bypassing of decryption or any other issues like that. So today I'm going to show you the full setup process. So basically I'm going to show you how to install Parallels, how to install Windows 11, and then how to get Battle.net installed and then install Diablo Immortal as well. I'm also going to have a look at the graphics settings as well and also some optimization tips for now. And basically this is going to be a full step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac news. So the very first thing we're going to do is to download and install Parallels which is the virtual machine software we're going to be using in order to run Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So what I do recommend that you do is to click the link at the top of the description. This is gonna take you to the Parallels download page. If you make a purchase after clicking this link, then you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you've clicked the link, what you can do is try the software out for free for 14 days. If you do decide to buy now and click new license, what you can do is go ahead and select the Pro Edition and then click buy now. And if you click this enter a coupon code button here, and then you type in the code AppleWiki10 and click apply, then you're going to receive a 10% discount. So here I'm going to use the free trial and I'm gonna click the download now button here. And then we're gonna press okay. And then the software has downloaded. So now I'm gonna to navigate to my finder and then go to my downloads folder. And then I can see here my Windows 11 ARM is still downloading. However, I'm going to go ahead and install parallelsdesktop.dmg. So here we're gonna double click on the installer and now we're gonna double click on install parallels desktop. Here we'll press open and we're just gonna let this finish downloading. So now we're gonna enter our password and press okay. So once Parallels is installed, what we're gonna do is to double click on Parallels Desktop and then we're gonna met with this installation wizard. So here we're gonna press continue. And now what we're gonna do is to select the option on the left where it says get Windows 11 from Microsoft. So this is actually a new option which allows us to directly download Windows 11 without having to register with the Windows inside a program. So we're gonna press install Windows and it's gonna go ahead and download and install Windows 11 ARM directly from the Microsoft servers. And now we're gonna let Parallels create that virtual machine for us. So now Windows 11 arm is being installed and this is going through the setup process and that's going through the setup process we just have to wait for this to complete so now that installation is complete we're going to press the continue button here and Windows 11 has automatically maximized itself so now that we've installed Windows we're going to go to battle.net and I'm going to go ahead and download the battle.net launcher so here you're going to select the button on the top hand side of the screen download battle.net so now the setup.exe has started. If we go to File Explorer and we go to our Downloads folder, we're gonna find battle.net setup here. So just double click, press continue, press yes, and then just let this install. So now we're gonna let this install in its default location, press continue. Now it's starting the install process. So now what you do is to log into our account. If you don't have an account already, you can go ahead and click here to create a free battle.net account. So I'm gonna type in my email address and password and then press the login button here. So once we're logged in, we're gonna close this scan button and we're gonna go close this now. We're gonna to go to this all gamers section and we're gonna look at Diablo Immortal. So we click on here and then we're gonna install the PC version of this game. So I'll click here, install PC beta. Let's enter our date of birth. And we're gonna install it in its default location. So press start install. And then this is gonna start the installation process. So just let that complete. So there's 24 gigabytes in size. So this just depends on the speed of your internet connection. So now the game's downloaded, we're gonna press the play button. And this is now loading up the game. So we've now logged into the game. I'm gonna go ahead and select my server. Here I'm gonna click tap to play. And now I've got my existing account. I've got my characters here. So all I do is to actually load up into the game and press enter world. So here I'm trying to run the game at a frame rate of 60 frames a second. And I'm and I've got all of these settings turned on to very high. Even at this setting, it's sort of playable, but it does stutter quite a lot. So what I would say is probably even turning it down to the lowest is gonna be appropriate. If I turn this down to low, turn all of the settings off. So to be honest, this still looks pretty good. It's far better than the iPhone version, iPad version of this game. So it's not necessarily necessarily the best way to run Diablo Immortal on the M1 Mac. That's because the play cover side loading version is going to run natively, it's going to run much faster than this. However, the Windows version does have the benefit of having full keyboard and mouse control and we don't have to disable system integrity protection and also we have almost zero chance of being banned by Blizzard for bypassing some of the Diablo Immortal protections. So it's really up to you whether you think that this particular method is going to be worth it versus the side loading method. I have another side loading method which I'm going to make a tutorial video for which does not require 
require disabling SIP. So please make sure to check that out in the description when I've recorded it. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I've got lots of other Mac tutorial videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.